Welcome back to Technically Speaking. Since we've spent this segment talking about online shopping, I thought who better to be a special guest today on our show than an online retailer, since we're dealing with all sorts of retail shops. So we welcome today Sandra Semino. Sandra owns an online boutique called Shop Boutique Noir, specializing in clothing and accessories, and we're so delighted to have her here. Thank you for joining us today, Sandra. Thank you, Stephanie. I bet you shop just as much as you sell online, don't you? I do, actually. Um, you know, there's a nice balance between both the retail owning and the retail buying. So Okay, so we can get tips on both sides of the coin today. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite shops online, maybe your favorite websites? Where do you go? Um, well, I have... I have a total addiction for shoes, so, <laughs> so any, any website... Now I'm going to have to take a peek yes. and see what you're wearing. I'm wearing patent leather BCBGs. Um, <laughs> um, websites like Rue La La and My Habit are great websites because they have flash sales. So what a flash sale is, is primarily they, they throw on sale for phenomenal prices, garments, shoes, accessories, travel, um, home decor, and they throw everything on sale, and it's at a cheaper rate and for very inexpensive shipping as well. Wow. Now, I have to ask you, I've never bought shoes online. Mm -hmm. I guess you have to know what size you are and do you worry about the fit, or is it not really a problem? Sometimes it's a problem, but not all the time. Um, you know, sometimes return policies for most websites, they give you a good two weeks or to a month to return. So if something doesn't fit properly, you can always return it. Just make sure that you you know you know whether or not you have to return for pay for postage or okay. um, or if they're going to pay postage for you. Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, besides shoes, what other sites do you like to have it? Well, Etsy, for instance. Etsy. Etsy. It's a great website. It's filled with homemade items that people sell. Um, that it's it's creativity at its finest. Um, you can get vintage finds on there as well, um, but the unique aspect of it is phenomenal. Uh, you really can't go wrong with a website like Etsy. So homemade items, so it's like a craft fair on the computer? More or less. The way that they did it was they just did like an online boutique per vendor. So everybody has the opportunity to sell their creations and you know, and a lot of times it's unique items, so you're actually getting a one-of-a-kind piece. Oh, nice. So that's great for that person that you don't know what to buy for. Yeah, definitely. Etsy, E-T-S-Y? Yes. Very nice. Now, that's a one-of-a-kind dress you're wearing, or? Um, this dress is actually from my collection. Oh, nice. Um, we're, I'm wearing pink for breast cancer awareness this month, um, so... What better way to express Absolutely. awareness? Absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, on the retailer side, I'm sure you deal with some crazy shoppers day and night. Oh, you like you wouldn't believe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are some of the crazy things we shoppers have put you through? Well, sometimes people send back garments worn. Worn? Worn. I've like, a, yes, worn. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no doubt. No doubt in my mind. If it reeks of perfume, you wore it. So don't send it back. <laughs> they didn't even... Sneak it through a dry cleaner or Not something. Not at all. I mean, at least have the courtesy to do that. Oh, my but, gosh. Um, we've had customers return worn goods, damaged goods. Um, and in, the, in that case, you do have to have confrontation with the customer. Um, and most of the time, we do charge a restocking fee for that because then we have to bring it to the dry cleaners or worse, of course. we have to damage the merchandise. Of course. And I'm sure, I mean, we're talking about clothing in general, so it's not like it got damaged during shipping. No. Not when it reeks of perfume. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you handle shipping? Is that a difficult area for you, or is it pretty cut and dry? Shipping is very cut and dry and super easy. Um, normally, we use United States Postal Service, um, which is inexpensive. It's quick. Most of my items will ship out two to three days, um, and a lot of other websites do use USPS. Um, another great thing about USPS is that they work with UPS. Okay. So you're getting the best of both worlds. Um, FedEx, while it's good, it's not commonly used anymore. Okay. Now, if I were shopping online, should I try to stick with retailers doing one thing or another, or does it really matter? It doesn't really matter. Um, you, can, you can shop one website for one thing and then 
go to another website and shop for another. It's entirely up to you. That's the, that's the glory of the internet. You can go any which direction that you want. Now, is it safe to shop on the internet, or is there anything I should worry about? There are some scams. Oh. Um, sake of argument, you were, we're going to go back to shoes. Okay. <laughs> You're looking for a designer pair of shoes on the internet, and if you find a pair of, I don't know, Christian Louboutins that normally go for almost $1,000, and you find $1, them, $1,000, and you find them for two, more than likely, they're fakes. So now you have to watch out for that. The best way to do that is if you're buying a luxury item to purchase from a well-known um, source. So okay. shop from like a Macy's or a Saks Fifth Avenue if you're looking okay. for a luxury piece. Okay. Sounds good to me. And anything else that you can give us as a tip for shopping, like ways of getting good deals, coupons? What do you do to get a really good break on the internet? Well, well everybody has Facebook. Come on, everybody has Facebook, Facebook. has deals? Facebook has deals. If you like your favorite stores, websites, I'm sorry, fan pages. Okay. Um, if you like their fan pages and you sign up for their, I guess, email updates and whatnot, right. you, not only do you get to your Facebook feed, you also receive emails. And sometimes you get coupon codes. You get notices of, of flash sales. Okay. Um, and, you, you, you know, you can take advantage of free shipping also. Oh, nice. And a lot of times, a lot of companies do run contests as well. Now, on a personal note, what's the best thing you ever bought online? Hmm. Most unique? Anything fun? Um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a shoe addict, so I'm always buying oh, shoes. Oh, we're with the shoe. I, mean, I, I can't. I'm going to go home and I look can't. on these shoe sites. I love shoes. I can't help it. I have um, never bought a pair of shoes online. I bought everything else online. You have to. But now I'm going to have to go <laughs> and look at shoes. You're going to have to. <laughs> um, believe it or not, I, I love dresses. So I, I'll, before I opened my boutique, I was big on buying dresses online. Um, but I do... I do collect a few things. I, I do collect Swarovski crystal. Oh, so nice. sometimes Swarovski crystals will be on sale on their website. Right. So you can get really special items that way as well. Terrific. Good to know. Now, are there any best times to be shopping online that you found? I strongly urge everybody to shop Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is the Monday after Black Friday. Okay. I mean, after all, you're doing all the shopping after Thanksgiving on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when everybody goes back to work on Monday, and that's when everyone sits at their desk and does online shopping. So I guess you're telling me they're not actually working at no, their desks. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Cyber Monday, actually, a lot of times, you'll, not only will you get free shipping, you'll get discounts. Really? So you can primarily get all your shopping done at a cheap rate on Cyber Monday. Okay, so Cyber Monday, like their fan page on mm -hmm. Facebook to get coupons. Buy shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Always buy shoes. <laughs> Have you ever had a problem with anything being shipped to you before? Sometimes with detrimental weather or whatever, you know, you receive a package and they leave it out in the rain or snow, mm. there's a risk of it getting damaged. But you know, you could always tell when you go and you place your order that you have, there's maybe there's a shipping note, and you can leave a shipping note for them. Okay. For so that way they know if it's raining to leave it in the hall. If, right. If you have that option in your home, of course, or you can ask them. You know, I'd rather pick it up at my local post office. Makes sense. Leave it there. Well, you know, it's funny that you should say that because I had an incident one year that I didn't tell them in advance. So we have a side door to our house. We never use the side door. <laughs> In fact, it empties out to a place that we never go to. Well, providentially, the door one night, freezing cold night, blew in. Well, thank God it did. So I come down to the kitchen in the morning. It's freezing. There's snow in the kitchen. And there's about 25 packages. Oh, my goodness. They have been leaving mm -hmm. them on the side door. Never, I mean, every day. And they must have left more and more and more. And I'm sitting there thinking, I ordered a whole lot of stuff online, and it never got here. So... I guess I could request in the future front door only, or I'll pick them up or something like that so it wouldn't happen? Oh, absolutely. Um, not only that, but most shipping websites will offer you tracking information and delivery confirmation. Oh, that's true. So you could always track your package. Um, so they from, won't pile up at my so side door again. Absolutely. And also, it also prevents theft. Um, holidays are a big time for oh. everybody ordering, so the packages will be left in your I guess in your front doorway or right. whatnot, people see that as an open invitation to just take. So now you have a mechanism 
to track your packages. Well, that's true. If you have the tracking, that. you know, okay, it's going to be delivered tomorrow, and then tomorrow it doesn't come. Mm -hmm. Something to be aware of. Definitely. Well, I know I'm going home and looking at those shoe <laughs> websites. What were your favorite shoe websites? Oh, Rue La La. Rue La La. Rue La La. Um, my habit. My habit. And um, oh, say so they also have a habit like you. I see. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> and, and you could also check out Etsy. And I'm going to check out Etsy. Well, please check out our website at technicallyspeakingtv.com, where I'm going to put links to all these fabulous sites. Enjoy the holidays with all that great shopping. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you. You're welcome. My <laughs> pleasure.